Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square. So first of all there are a couple of steps to follow. Step number one, coefficient of x square must be equal to 1. Coefficient of x square must be equal to 1. In this case, the coefficient of x square is already 1, so we don't need to do anything. Step number 2, subtract the constant term from both sides of this, this equation. To take this equation, x square minus 6x plus 2 equal to 0. The constant term is plus 2 and subtract the constant term from both sides minus 2 and minus 2 so it will become x square minus 6x 2 plus 2 and minus 2 will cancel so this is equal to minus 2 so the step number 3 take the coefficient of x take the coefficient of x which is minus 6 half it yeah, half it which is minus 3 square it which is 9 Step number 4, add it to both sides of this equation, this equation. So, this square it, add it to both sides of this equation. So, this is equal to x square minus 6x plus 9. This is equal to minus 2 plus 9. So we add both sides plus 9 plus 9. So this is equal to our perfect square. So we can solve it by factorization. So this is equal to x square minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 equal to 7. So take the x common from, from the first two terms. So this is x inside x minus 3 take the minus 3 common inside is x minus 3 equal to 7 x minus 3 from these two factors write one factor x minus 3 equal to 7 so this is x minus 3 square equal to 7. Now square root on both sides. So this is x minus 3 equal to plus minus 7 square root. So x is equal to take the 3 on this side of this equation. This is 3 plus minus 7 under root. So we got two values of x. x is equal to 3 plus 7 under root. And x is equal to 3 minus 7 under root. So this is my final answer. x is equal to 7 3 plus 7 under root and x is equal to 3 minus 7 under root. This is my final answer. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.